All right, kids, I know you'll be excited today because we got that brand new line of Gujitsu figures straight from Moose Toys. Oh, oh, Series 3 of Gujitsu. Oh, man, I can't wait to unbox these. <laughs> oh, Zombie Steve, you and these Gujitsu. Yep, I know you love these things, so that's why we've got the complete Series 3 to unbox today. Oh, 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 that's gonna be awesome. And the best part is that Moose Toys sent us oh, this huge box containing all the figures from this cool set. So just check this out, kids. Holy cow. Oh, man, awesome. Oh, my goodness. Oh, so many Gujitsu. Oh, I love it. Oh, uh. <laughs> Zabby Steve. Yep, we've got all of them, and we're going to unbox them now. All right, kids, so as you can see, we've got a whole tabletop full of the brand new Gujitsu figures, Series 3. And not only do we get figures, but we get this really cool wrestling ring. Wow, to show off this awesome set. Oh, look at these two guys going at it. But yep, I guess this is only given to uh, certain influencers on YouTube. So a special thanks to uh, Moose Toys for sending this really awesome wrestling ring to us. I love it. And they also sent us this exclusive checklist that we can check all the figures off on. Nice. So it looks like, uh, let's see, we get seven regular figures and four figures in those two packs, making 11 figures to collect in all. Nice, and it shows you the wrestling ring right there. But let's start off with, well, one of the coolest figures out of this line, which is, ooh, the ultra rare Hydra figure. And he's a three-headed dragon coming at you that looks phenomenal. So let's see, let's open this guy up here. Uh, and oh, there we go, and boom, boom Oh, wait a minute, oh man, I took some of the heads off. Oh, they pop off? Wow, now that is awesome. Something I didn't really expect. But yep, looks like this Hydra here comes with three removable heads. Oh man, that's so cool. I didn't think they'd come off, but yep, I guess they do. It looks like they come off and, oh man, they have water blast attack too? Whoa, check it out, I guess they're hollow inside. And I'm not sure if you can see it with the camera there, but there's a little hole in his mouth where the water will shoot out. Oh man, I just gotta try this out. But I'll uh, hold off on that for, for right now. I wanna see the Gujitsu power that lays inside this really cool Hydra guy. And all we have to do now is just stretch him out here. Ugh. Oh man, cool, it looks like, ugh. He's super stretchy with a taffy-like substance inside of him. Kind of like that uh, shark guy from the first series. So, yep, that's pretty cool. He's got this cool tail that... <laughs> ah, Moe, you can stretch that out too. He's got pants on. Oh, the pants are removable. <laughs> oh, we don't want to make him naked, so uh, yeah, we'll just keep the pants on this guy. Wow, and I gotta say, this Series 3 is starting off with a bang. This really cool Hydra figure. And of course, to put this thing into action, all we need is a glass of water here. And we'll just dunk one of these heads in here and... Ah, oh, cool, I think it's floating with water. And then, fire! <laughs> oh, that's awesome. So yep, we've got some water shooting power with this really cool Hydra head. So now let's go ahead and put this Hydra back together because I wanna see what this guy looks like completed. And then we'll get this head right here that's filled with water back on his body. And then you can look at the other guy and go, hey, I don't like you very much. Here, take that. <laughs> oh, man, cool. Oh, I love it. So, yep, we've got a water breathing dragon with three heads. That's probably what they call Hydra because he's a water dragon. Okay, let's grab another Gujitsu here. And this time we've got, ugh, what is this, a spider guy? Oh, <laughs> he's got four eyes. That's gross. And his name is called Redback. Oh, he popped out of there nicely. And of course, there he is, looking all crazy and nasty. Ugh, that crazy spider guy with four eyes and claws and crazy feet. So I'm curious what his Gujitsu power is. So let's go ahead and stretch this guy. And oh man. And wow, check it out. Oh man, he's got spider webs inside of him. Oh, crazy. So he's like a glorified Spider Man Gujitsu. <laughs> I oh, can't really see the spider webs if you stretch them like this, but if you go like this, oh, we get to see all the spider webs inside. Holy cow, they loaded them up with all kinds of those things. They look kind of plasticky and Spider Man ish. And uh, I do kind of like this third series because I feel like they made the uh, skin a little thicker so you can't break it as easy, which I know a couple people had these things explode on them. 
So it looks like you won't have that problem this time around with uh, this Gujitsu here. Okay, let's keep these cool Gujitsus coming. And this time, whoa, check it out. We've got this really cool elephant guy called Giga Tusk. Cool, so let's open him up. Check out his Gujitsu power. And talk about a really cool elephant, dude. Oh, I just love the sculpt of his face. He's got those big tusks out front. He's got some cool blonde hair. <laughs> oh, I just love the expression on his face. And I love this. He's got one fist on one hand and then this fist that's turned into a, a hammer on the other so he can smash uh, everything in his sight. So let's see, I wanna see what his Gujitsu power is. So let's pull this guy out and, oh, neat. Looks like there's little plastic balls inside this guy. Whoa, what are those, pray tell? I'm not sure, but looks like there's all kinds of weird designs on them. Giga Tusk, boy, you got some marbles or something inside of ya. Yeah, it looks like he's got red pants on. That's pretty cool. So, yep, this Gujitsu is in fighting form with this really cool hammer arm. Well, I gotta say, this Series 3 is shaping up to be a really cool one. And this time, ooh, we get this lizard-like character called Reptar. And here we have Reptar out of the package. And boy, I just love the sculpt of his face. And I should probably mention that all these heads now swivel, so they've got articulation. Now that's kind of new to Series 3. And the sculpt is pretty nice, looks just like a lizard. And it looks like all these guys come with pants you can take off, so that's pretty cool. You can probably interchange them. And he's got this cool tail that <laughs> uh, really comes off his body there. I love that. Really stretchy. And of course, his Gujitsu power uh, is the power of this green gelatinous oozy stuff, which uh, it's kind of like that toothpaste innards, but it's a little bit more stretchy than, well, the shark guy. Like sparklies in this guy. You can see that right there. So that's kind of different. Make it Reptar. Ooh, one guy that's uh, gonna claw your face off. <laughs> Okay, let's go back to the pile here. And next up is, oh, a new version of Blazicon. Nice, and he was a very popular character that every kid just wanted. It looks like they changed him up for this series, which right away we can see that the major difference is now he has some armor on that. Oh man, that's super stretchy too. So that's pretty cool, I like how they did that. And his arm is different as well. He's got a blade on there. Nice, but it looks like the head is the same, but it can also shoot water now. And let's see, stretch this guy out. Oh, man, looks like, oh, he's back with some different goo power this time around. Instead of those yellow fish egg-like things in his body, this time around he's got, ooh, crazy, some dark confetti-like material in his body. So that's pretty cool, it's kind of gelatinous. I don't think it's water, but yeah, that's pretty cool. I like that, boy, it's very, uh, very shiny. Cool, I wonder if we can have it pop through the chest there. <laughs> oh, I love it. <laughs> but I'm actually looking for new characters, so let's open up this two pack here. And whoa, we got one right here. Ooh, this is a bat, which is exclusive. His name is Bat Tax. Oh, cool, I can't wait to see what he does. Let's just get this guy out of here. And it's kind of neat that we get a bat Gujitsu this time. That's kind of different. I like his face there. One eye is missing because it got sliced or something. <laughs> and he's got one fisted hand and he's got one hand that's turned into an axe. But I'm curious what his Gujitsu power is, so let's see. Stretch this guy out. And, uh, can't really tell. Let's see, zoom in here and press his body out like this. And, whoa, check it out. Oh, he's got red stuff inside of him. And what is that? Yeah, it looks like little foamy parts kind of uh, like probably what was in that bear character in series two. So yep, kind of looks like the same substance. Of course, we won't find out until we cut this guy open in a future episode, but yep, there's that crazy stuff popping out of his body. And then of course, the other character in this two pack is, oh man, another Pantaro? Ooh, and this one is the golden Pantaro, which I wonder if he's gonna be rare. Probably not, but I'm curious what lies inside this guy because he's got some really interesting golden powers inside of him. You know, what is that? Not sure exactly what that is, but yeah, it sure is pretty. Oh man, like a, a shampoo-like substance? 
but I'm not I'm not really sure because it doesn't really flow like shampoo. Boy, this one is beyond me. I'm just gonna have to wait until we open this up in a future episode, but yep, there he is. The golden Pantaro coming at you with a crazy substance inside of him. And since we're on the subject of Pantaros, let's open up the uh, other variant here, which is the regular Pantaro. And boy, he's a little bit different from the other ones as his body is crystal clear. And we can kind of see his Gujitsu power without even stretching him. But let's see, let's stretch him out. Uh, cool, he's got these little, what are those? I think those are uh, you know, weird looking weapon type things. Ah, crazy. Yep, I'm not sure, but looks like they're all swimming around in some gelatinous type ooze in there. Nice, so yep, there's Pantaro, regular Pantaro and golden Pantaro coming at you in this third series of Gujitsu's. Hiya! Okay, going back to the pile here, it looks like we're down to our last single figure and two pack figure. And all these look like, well, variants of figures that we've gotten in the past. It looks like, ooh, we get a golden blaze guy. Oh, weird, so we get another variant. It looks like this one looks just like that Blazagon figure, but his armor looks different, it's red, and he's got that same kind of golden substance in him. Okay, let's go with the other figure in this two-pack, because we get a second variant of Rockjaw. He was in the first set, and <laughs> of course he's sporting those cool shades now, so I guess he's gotten a little bit cooler in his uh, third series here. And he comes with this cool armor, so it's kind of cool. I guess you can swap those out with the other characters here. And it looks like his Gujitsu power has changed. Because if we squish him right here... Oh, cool! It's one of those fish egg things! Ha! <laughs> ah, but this time they're purple! Oh, gross! Oh, man, I can wait to open these up in the future. But yep, that looks awesome! Ooh, look at all those purple. Looks uh, almost uh, alien-like. Ooh, alien squishel eggs. So yep, there they are just kind of flowing in his body with that cool tail of his. <laughs> oh, I love it. So, yep, another Gujitsu of Rockjaw coming at you. And then last up is Thrash. That uh, crazy shark that we just love. And let's see. Oh, pull him apart. It looks like his Gujitsu power has changed too. It's no longer that gelatinous ooze. Instead, it looks like there's, what is that, little... Ooh, gross, that's pretty cool. Hell, looks like there's little foam balls inside this guy. So yep, there's the good old Thrash with the cool Gujitsu power that makes him look like, uh, well, it's got all kinds of water bubbles inside of him. So yep, good job, Moose Toys. You did a good job on this guy. All right, kids, well, there they are. The brand new Gujitsu coming at you, Series 3. And I gotta say, they did a great job with all the different characters that come in this set. All right, kids, and with that, we now have our complete set of Series 3 coming at ya. Oh, oh, can I play with them now? Please, please, please. All right, Sammy Steve, you can play with them now. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna go crazy. <laughs> no, Sammy Steve! All right, kids, well, there's the entire set of Series 3 coming at you. And if you want some of your very own, make sure you start looking at Targets and Walmarts everywhere.